trauma is experienced usually in early childhood. It can also be experienced in war, times of war, and seeing a catastrophe. It's actually having some sort of assault that happens to the well-being of the system of the human being. And because of that assault, it can create symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, which include nightmares, flashbacks, anxiety, and intrusive memories. And it also makes people avoid people, places, and things that remind them of the trauma. Traumatic memories get lodged in a different part of our brain than where our regular memories get stored, which is back here. So the traumatic memory is always trying to reprocess itself in order to find its way back into where these memories get stored. So what happens though is that in the course of time, that trauma has left a, a neuronal imprint, I should say so that the person begins to see their life and situations in their life through the lens of the trauma. So they're not really seeing life in reality. They're seeing it through that lens of the trauma because of that traumatic memory. Now with EMDR, what we do is we bring up that traumatic memory in a very safe environment.